Tank Abbott joins us now. Tank, nice to have you with us. How are you doing, Bruce? Good, very good. Uh, Tank, we got to ask you, we haven't seen you in some time since Puerto Rico. What happened down there? Um, somebody got smart with me and uh, I had to lay the law down. I can't let people talk to me like that. Uh, basically, um, it was a one-time thing. Uh, you know, I, I kind of laughed it off later. Um, if I would have took it further, I'm coming after your ass, and I'll knock on your front door and take care of you. But, Tank, you have to have an ability in this thing to, to keep your head about you, or else you're not going to get a chance to fight. Well, that's very true. So let's uh, throw down some IQ points, and uh, we'll see all these mental giants you have here, and we'll see who comes up on top. Well, now that you're off your suspension, what are your plans? What do you want to do? What do I want to do? I've uh, Let me tell you something. When I count days... I'm counting days to get out of a cage. Um, now I'm counting days, 70 and running, to get back into a cage. And uh, are you saying you have signed to fight again? I'm fighting September 20th unless uh, another Art Davy situation arises. Um, basically, let's put it this way. You've seen uh, Discovery Channel. You've seen uh, some animals uh, rip apart a, a gazelle. That's what's going to happen. Well, what do you think of the fighters that you've seen here tonight? You've had a chance to observe all of them. Absolutely some good cocktail fun. Drinking a few cocktails, watching the show. Uh, how nothing, do you assess these nothing, nothing tickling me with a feather. I, I like how uh, Fry all of a sudden does a, a return about face and all of a sudden a, a tough guy wants to kill people. What's that about? I thought he was a nice guy. Looks like Tom Selleck to me. Hey, Tank, uh, <laughs> you know, we saw you, one of the few guys that smiled in the octagon looking out as you were enjoying uh, putting some punishment on your opponent. Is that something we'll see from you again or no? Well, um, that's the only reason why I'm in here. Uh, let's put it this way. You only win a fight by hurting your opponent. Uh, I've never seen anybody do something to win a fight without hurting their opponent, and that's what fighting's about. It's uh, to dominate the other person, and that's what I'm here to do. But so much of martial arts is about honor and discipline and respect. What do you, what do you think of those words? Well, that's for uh, Don the Dragonfly Wilson, and let him go do, where's he at? He's probably making a Godzilla voiceover that you'll see at 3 in the morning. Yeah, he's making oh, a lot boy. of cash, uh, Tag. Give him some credit. Well, well, uh, you're, you're, well, you know what? You know what? That's the point. I'm not here to make cash. I'm here to uh, do things. Well, in a, in a way, Tank, you are a walking contradiction. You How, appear how's that? To be, you appear to be undisciplined. You show no respect at all in honor or, or otherwise around I or in, myself. in the octagon. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and some feel, some people really feel that you don't train hard enough, that conditioning might be the only thing that holds you back. How, how would you respond to those? Well, let's put it this way. You saw Glamrock and you saw uh, oh Freddie Mercury look alike or whatever. They fought for 27 minutes and they all hid behind a, a second clock of a hand. They, they didn't go out to fight. Let's put it this way. When I go in there... I'm not going out to win. I'm going out to fight. You really do seem to thrive on that villain role. You really, and, and it seems that you once made a comment after a fight that, hey, the people in the bars need a person to cheer for, too. Well, I'll tell you this. I'm not a villain. I'm just myself, and you can label me any way you want to. I don't wear a kimono, and I'm not from Brazil, and, and I'm, just, I'm just here. Thank you, Tank. Thank you very much, and we can continue now with the show. All right.